Muhlenberg, Moravian, East Stroudsburg, DeSales, Del Valle, Cedar Crest, and Kutztown all participate in the Lehigh Valley Small College Basketball Organization. The schools come together to share their accomplishments and honor standout players. Regina Patashny takes a look on the women's side. With the local college basketball teams wrapping up the first half of their seasons, they all came together at Starters Pub for the first annual Lehigh Valley Small College Luncheon, where they honored the unsung heroes. Off to a great start, the Muhlenberg women are 5-2 overall and 3-0 in the Centennial Conference. They have won 25 straight league games and won it to just keep going. I think the team feels very good about themselves right now. Uh, going into the season, they're a little concerned losing a Lauren Boyle, losing an Aaron McSherry off last year's team. I think they weren't sure how things were going to go. And uh, the success we've had, I think, has made them feel this is just an extension of last year's success, which uh, hopefully bodes well for us. We're a great offensive team. We have um, a lot of depth in our team, especially, you know, our freshmen are playing fantastically to have them come off the bench. To play our whole bench, you know, it's we're just running <laughs> and people just can't stay up with um, all the depth that we have. Um, also, Kelly McKean and Alexandra Chile, like, they're just playing amazingly as well as just, um, Sheila Cook in the post. So to have everyone just playing so well, it's just kind of um, great to see the team come together. Well, the men's basketball program's turning the corner on their early season schedule as well, just a few games before the holiday break, before getting into the meat of their conference schedules when we turn the calendar into 2010. Doug Heater takes a look at where DeSales, Moravian, and Muhlenberg have been and where they are going. Scott McClary, who returns to his alma mater for his first season leading the Muhlenberg men, has seen a 500 start greet his club, including two straight wins in the conference over Swarthmore and Washington. Being new, and I inherited a team that has four great seniors on it, it took a little bit of time for us to kind of play into our roles, get to know both ways the sides of the fence, getting to know each other. And I think that's starting to settle in now, and players are starting to, to get familiar with how we want to play, what we're asking them to do, uh, and how they can help the team win, you know, on a nightly basis. And I think you're starting to see us play a little bit better now, so I'm getting pretty excited about it. We came into the season with uh, high expectations. We have a, uh, a core group of seniors who are really talented and uh, some good guys coming off the bench and uh, a really good fr a really good sophomore uh, big guy now. And uh, I guess we, we expected for our season to start a little bit uh, better, but uh, we got up to a slow start but now we're really picking things up uh, as we start our league play. The Mules return to action tonight at 7 p.m. when they host Centennial Conference opponent Dickinson before heading on the road on Saturday in a non-league game against Moravian. On the scene covering NCAA men's basketball, Doug Heater, 2 Sports. All right, thanks, Doug. Still going to take a little time to get used to not seeing Dave Madeira when you talk Muhlenberg yeah. men's basketball. Yeah, Scott McClary's doing a good job <laughs> yes. so far with the team, but you're yeah, right. We wish him well. It's but been it's, a long it's time. Different. It's a little different there.